we would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land. We pay our deep respects to Elders past, present and emerging. This award-winning home was built in 2012. It employs passive solar design and achieved an energy efficiency rating of 8.5 stars at that time. The house was constructed using recycled and sustainable materials chosen for durability and low maintenance. We have catered for the changing needs of the occupants with multi-purpose spaces and ambulatory accessibility. The land in Belmont is used sustainably as it has been subdivided from an existing site and uses the existing infrastructure for water, sewer, gas, electricity, roads, etc. Driveways and path consist of permeable crushed rock to prevent stormwater runoff into waterways and avoid pollution. All exterior and interior timber is Frencham Cypress, a selectively harvested native timber which has durability class 1 and termite resistance, and it means a natural durability above ground of 50 years. We've used recycled quality pressed solid bricks, selected for durability and thermal mass, not only on the exterior walls but also in the interior painted reverse brick veneer walls as shown here. The house has been designed to have a strong link to the outdoor with the northern windows and also to provide passive solar gain in winter. Other passive solar design elements such as eaves, thermal mass with the concrete and brick, as well as the northerly orientation, provide a home that is naturally warm in winter and cool in summer. The double glazed front door is also made from sustainably harvested native timber. The open plan living area incorporates recycled elements not only in the brickwork but also in the 1930s sunrise cabinet doors, the super check plasterboard which is 35% recycled materials, the wall and ceiling insulation made from recycled glass bottles and the 1950s refurbished lounge. Window furnishings are made from renewable low VOC materials, the linen is made from sustainably grown flax plant and the timber venetians are plantation timber. The dishwasher has very low water use, an additional eco cycle which automatically opens the door at the end to allow the steam to release. In this way drying occurs without the use of additional energy. Six watt LED light globes provide 650 lumens of light. They also give the advantage that you can change the globe in the future for a more energy efficient product where many LED light fittings you actually have to dispose of the fitting because you can't change the globe. The windows are double glazed argon filled with a low E coating and have a composite aluminium and timber frame for optimal thermal performance, durability and low maintenance. The hydronic heating meets my needs due to allergies and has been chosen as the radiant heat provides improved indoor air quality. Indoor plants also improve the indoor air quality and with the good winter sun coming naturally into the kitchen, I can grow cuttings and seedlings inside without the need for a hothouse. The second toilet is accessible from the compact laundry. The washing machine is both energy and water efficient. The toilets and washing machine are connected to the 9,000 litre rainwater tank. We have a retractable Versaline clothesline with a hydronic heating panel below and a vent above to remove condensation. We have no need for a clothes dryer and the retractable clothesline can hold a full load of wet washing in winter if needed. The bathroom has been designed to be accessible for all ages and ability with a flush shower and space for a chair and a handheld shower rose. Both the shower and toilet have timber in the walls for future handrails. All of the taps are lever type mixers for accessibility. The hot water service has a smart start function so you can set the desired temperature and the water recirculates until it reaches hot so you don't waste water. The taps and shower are all low flow taps. The toilets are dual flush with low water use and the bath is a recycled cast iron claw foot bath. The third bedroom is accessed from the entry and is designed as a multifunction space so you can change the use of this space as your needs change. It can be a bedroom, a second living room or used as an office as I do which has been great as now my partner and I are both working from home in these corona times.
The office faces south and has good light from the double glazed window and also the operable solar tube skylight. The skylight has a damper so you can close it making the room dark if it was to be used as a bedroom. Unfortunately it's cloudy at the moment so you can't see the full brightness of the skylight just now. The solar tube skylights are very thermally efficient and don't detrimentally impact on the comfort or energy rating as larger standard skylights do. This skylight also contains a light fitting for use at night time. The main bedroom is north facing and has a view to the garden. It is a spacious bedroom made for accessibility with lever door handles set at accessible heights and the power points are 600 millimeters or two foot above the floor so the elderly don't need to bend down to use them. The bedrooms and living area all have ceiling fans. This house has no need for air conditioning. Ceiling fans have low power use and it's important to note that air movement gives a perceived cooling of 5 degrees in summer. The house performs really well in summer heat waves with a maximum temperature of 26 degrees after 5 consecutive days over 40 in January. You can see the composite timber and aluminium window frames here. The timber makes the window very thermally efficient and the external aluminium provides durability and low maintenance. The north facing garden is designed for low water use with edible plants and fruit trees. The 9000 litre rainwater tank is serviced by the rainwater catchment from the whole roof area. The tank is connected to the toilets, washing machine and all the garden taps. We have an automated drip irrigation system with a rain sensor to optimise use of garden water. The northern reverse brick veneer walls are clad in corrugated zinc loom and the pergola timber is sustainable and durable native cypress. Pergola also has a retractable horizontal blind to shade in summer but retracts so that you get the full winter sun. We have a retractable clothesline and we have used permeable gravel and have no lawn to be water wise and it also works with the wear and tear of our energetic dog. The raised planter beds below the deciduous trees are also pet friendly. We have a dual chamber compost bin off the ground to keep vermin out. We are filling one chamber while the second chamber is breaking down. And we don't know how, but both of the chambers are actually full of worms, which actually really speeds things up. We've recycled an old kitchen sink and use this as a potting bench and to wash garden veggies. Under the sink is the pump and water filters for the tank as you'll need to filter the water if you want to use it in the washing machine to remove any tannins or colour from the water. The 7 star gas instantaneous hot water service has a smart start feature and you can also see the gas boiler for the hydronic heating. We have a compact storeroom that also contains the inverter for the solar and the Zender heat exchange ventilation system. This is critical to maintaining optimal indoor air quality and temperature and preventing condensation. It is 90% efficient in the heat exchange from outgoing to incoming air. And this is connected to each room of the house. We have a 1.75 kilowatt solar system, which generates an average of eight kilowatt hours a day, which is about 80 to 90% of our household use using a total of 8.9 kilowatt hours a day. You can also see the solar vent on the roof and this ventilates the roof space. Part of the idea with the subdivision was to demonstrate that you can do sustainable subdivisions which don't impact adversely on the neighbours. It's very private. We've also been able to maintain a lot of the existing trees which also add to privacy and prevent overlooking and the existing trees also help to shade and create a microclimate in summer. Thank you for taking the tour through my home. This is my partner Guillermo and myself Fleur and our dog Poppy.